Today we're at a Japanese restaurant that makes the cutest food we've ever seen. But this video isn't just about that. We've shown you awesome food, hidden gems, crazy adventures, unique travel experiences, you name it. And today we want to take you behind the scenes to show you how we do it. We're testing out the new Oppo Reno6 Pro 5G and we want to know how good is this guy for content creators. Right now we're shooting on a DSLR because we don't have another Oppo phone. But for most of the shots we're going to be using only this phone and we put a little right there just to make it clear. Go. So the first thing we usually do is film the interior and ambience of the place. This also includes shots of the anchor, walking in, checking out the restaurant, things like that. This is one of the main features being talked about, the cinematic bokeh flare effect. Which as you can see, your subject is clean, crisp, more vivid and the background is all blown up. And this is a great shot to film for vlogging especially against backlighting. Now what's supposed to happen is if you've got multiple light sources in the background, it should give you this nice bouquet effect as you can see behind me. So this is with the bouquet effect off and this is with the bouquet effect on. Next we try to find a nice spot for the anchor to deliver the main links and to add context. Sometimes this also happens when the food is there and those are the times we don't get to try the food when it's hot. Next we film the main bits which is food. Let's see how good food looks on this camera. We typically like to get all the dishes out first and then we film all our shots. This includes vertical and horizontal shots for long form and short form content. So we usually end up eating the food when it's cold. So when it comes to filming food shots, basically what we like to do is prop the camera up in a nice angle where you can see all of the food, how colorful and Instagrammable it looks and then let the anchor just try it and we want to get natural reactions. Have you ever used chopsticks before? No. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend like I know it. Yeah, perfect. Cool. Okay, first bite. How is it? It's good? Okay, a feature that we're still loving is the dual view camera. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Right? That is so delicious. Dynamite shrimp. Cheers. Cheers. Right? So good. This place is bomb. So food clearly looks awesome on this phone. So let's take an example. This shot was filmed on a DSLR and this shot was filmed on the Oppo. One of the features that helps is the AI highlight feature. So for example, you wouldn't film food or anything against a backlight, right? You'd film it from this angle. But when you turn on the feature AI highlight video, even on food, <laughs> it looks awesome. So this is AI off. And especially with a harsh backlight, AI off. And this is with AI on. So as you can see, the everything becomes more vivid, especially a subject, the colors pop more. It balances out that blaring backlight and finds a way to expose the subject really well. Another feature that's really handy in this phone is the AI palette feature. I'm sure how it works. Let's take a quick picture. The idea is that you have a photo editing studio within your phone. So let's say as you're browsing through Instagram, you come across pictures where you like the color palette, for example. So, as you're browsing, you can select and save the pictures that you like for inspiration. You go over to the photo that you want to edit, you click edit, click AI palette, add the pictures that you saved. And the palette kind of helps you copy those colors and tones to easily enhance your pictures. So as you can tell, this phone's got all the right features for a solo creator. Everything looks really good on this camera. And all these new features are well thought of and it makes sense for a vlogger. So check it out for yourself let us know what you think. If you like this video, give it a like or leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next video.